Hello everyone, welcome back to Drop Frames. It's been two weeks, I think, since our last episode. It's been a while since we've yeah. been on. Since E3. Since E3, that's right. That, that was a li- Well, you were on since before E3. You haven't even yeah. been on since E3. So uh, we figured we'd bring Bobby over here on to talk about butts. I, I mean bits. We're going to talk about bits. Ben butts. We're going to talk about butts later, but that Bobby's not going to be here for the butt talk. He's going to be here for the bit oh. talk. Bobby, That's you got to go when we talk about butts. We can't have an official word on butts because you guys posted some official words on. Let me just read the official words on butts because it's hilarious. Yay! Drawn depictions of closed, clothed human butts are generally okay. The same goes for drawn animal butt depictions. Fruit butts are okay if the image is obviously a fruit. The words what butt and booty butt? are generally okay in proper context. Have nude. you not seen a peach, Zeke? It's a natural fruit butt. <laughs> nude human butt depictions, anuses, we're well aware of what a butt is without an anus, or pictures of an actual human or animal butt. This also includes those butt depictions that be confused with the nude human butt. This is the shit that Twitch has to officially say. What the oh, fuck is going you know on? What the best part is? You know what the best part is, JP? So if you read that, there's actually a link that Gears Art made. And it's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, of approved butts. The Gears Art wrote for us. Can you imagine sitting at your job and someone walks over to you and he's like, okay, uh, so today I'm going to need you to draw some butts. Let's get the Let official butt pictures from Gears Art. There we go. Thanks very much, Gears. These are approved butts on Twitch. Approved yes. Gears butts. And you see, the cat <laughs> has no asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. We'll talk about all that and more as uh, some more words have come out about butts from Twitch over on uh, the subreddit. But first, we're going to talk about bits, another hot topic uh, issue, yes. I guess. I don't know, whatever, that is uh, that has happened this week from Ooh, Twitch. Bleh. We've brought the product manager. Is that the official title, Bobby? That's the title. Okay, yep. so Bobby is the official uh, product manager for bits. He's been working on it for, I, I guess, before we even get into that. What what's your history in the gaming world? Let's just introduce Bobby before we introduce bits with Bobby. Yes. A lot so of bees today. If anyone in the chat knows me, it's from the Super Smash Brothers Melee community. Sup with it. Uh Co actually uh he asked uh he saw the People's Champ emote, which is which is my emote on the site, and just a moment ago asked, uh, is that a new emote on the site? Whoa. And uh yeah. Were you offended when he asked that? I did my best to not be offended. I completely understand. It runs in limited circles. It is not everywhere yet. I thought it would catch on. It did not. How long has it been there? Ooh, a couple of years. Really? A couple of years, Ouch. yes. Currently oh, yeah. undergoing a revival. Yeah, yeah, thank God. No, uh, speaking, as some, speaking as someone who's had a global emote for a while, like people still come up to me, like when I get the wig and the glass on, they're like, wait a minute, are you the guy? Are you the pink hair guy? I'm yeah. Like, yeah, that's me. That's, the, that's actually me. They're like, oh, shit, I had no idea. That's true. No one has ever asked me that question personally. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you some, the of, people's champ? some of those emotes are, some of those emotes, I have no idea who the fuck they are a lot of the time. Like, I couldn't point out yeah. probably the top 15 emotes. I couldn't actually tell you who they were for the most part. I didn't know that was Dan for the longest time. Because I don't actually use global emotes myself, so I never typed it out or moused over it. So I was just like, man, they keep linking this dude. Anytime I talk about Dan, yeah. like, who is this dude? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that was Dan until I met Dan. So there you go. Well, you know why? You know why I think you, you, people might not know you're the people's champ emote? Is be, or, or maybe they don't know of it as much is because you're too fucking handsome. <laughs> like, oh, man. shit. It's like a good too looking kind. emote. Like, like you see Dan's gaming, like Dan's game, he's like making this stupid face like like that. Like that has like that's like, you know, not like you could be a model, like a face model. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys I, I need do we need to fade to black hair so you guys have Zeke, some private can, time? Can you please hit on the guests after the show. <laughs> yes. I actually don't know how, so you know what? I actually I don't know how to feel right now because number one, I'm overwhelmed with this positive energy. Thank you so much, Zeke. Number yeah. two, the past forty eight have been nothing but negative. So. <laughs> I was about to direct the good people to the Wikipedia article for the People's Champion. Uh, I had been number one on the list, and now I go see it, and I have been completely removed. Uh, which Ouch. Is, uh, which is pretty much heartbreaking. I was number one on that list for quite some time. I'd say like Ouch. months. But anyway, oh, I uh, yeah, I come from Super Smash Brothers Melee. I've been playing the game. I played the game, you know, super duper hardcore for about eight years, and then I fell off. Uh, 
which is, you know, it's a consequence of getting responsibility, which kind of sucks, but is also kind of good. Uh, well, responsibility and, most of the time pays. Yes. Being good at games, not really all that often. <laughs> no, no, I definitely am net super duper negative on playing games, even though, you know, I've got some tournament winnings, uh, super negative. Um, and yeah, so I switched to being a commentator. Actually, true story. Uh, I remember my wife, every time I would come home from a tournament, she would be like, man, you look stressed. You look like you don't enjoy this game anymore. And I was like, well, it's because everybody else has all the time in the world and they practice and I don't <laughs> like, they are worse than me. And I know conceptually they're worse, but I can't beat them. Right. And she was oh, you know, maybe you can be involved in a different way. And I watched every week. I watched or listened to state of the game, Ooh. a Starcraft two podcast, which opened my eyes to the reality that like, Hey, People want to uh, watch people talking about video games. This is the coolest thing of all time. And so then I switched to being like, you know, I started streaming uh, on like a similar kind of like, it's called Melee It On Me and we did a podcast about Melee. Nice. Uh, and then that, like, I think through that, I kind of found my voice and, you know, what, what is my perspective that, you know, I want to share that's different than other streamers. Uh, and from there, like I was able to transition into being a commentator. So I think today in melee circles, I am known as uh, mostly as a commentator, and I have been called by other people the people's champ because the people trust that everything I do is for them and in their interest. Okay. And if I do anything to hurt the community, please, I've told them just uh, just throw me out. Which just brings us to bits. Let's I talk know. about bits. Perfect where you ruin bit. Twitch for pretty much ever. <laughs> according to something. Bobby was really, we're just, I'm just going to flat out call it. He was really nervous about coming on the show today. I am still nervous. So we're trying to fuck with him as much as possible so that he learns not to be nervous. We're not. And every time I look at the overlay, you guys have all these clean, crisp black backgrounds, and I'm in this awful room. Look, it took me like five weeks. Don't worry. It took like five weeks to get this. Zeke can attest to it. So you don't have to. It's fine. Yeah, dude. I got to say, we, we should really come down to it. So, so Bobby, when you decided you wanted to take down Twitch from the inside and you came <laughs> yeah. up with the system, yeah, you like, what was your, what was your thinking all our, there? All of our revenue systems, like every single other one of them. I mean, I think Bits is going to replace subscription for the subscription program. Yep. Yeah, gonna, you know, yeah. I just figured subscription is not important. You know, no one really likes them. <laughs> did you, did you want to alienate all the casters first or the Twitch the higher ups like what did was you your start with did know you're last week <laughs> sometimes you need to clarify everyone is joking right now <laughs> have you ever watched our show sometimes yeah. you don't get it. well no he's he's what? actually some people that have never tuned in the show it's just because as a commentator right like there are people who are playing and they're like my best friends in the world and i'm like wow he's an idiot right now man <laughs> this guy sucks and then my twitter feed blows up with like man how could you be so mean and insensitive to this wonderful person and i'm like no no you don't get it this is we're like actually friends that's true that's true uh i guess we should also start where did twitch come into the world for you and like how did that job fall into your lap not the job of bits we'll get to that afterwards but just how'd you get your job at twitch how what was that process I've talked about this publicly so many times that I can't change my story, unfortunately. Okay, we'll, uh, just, we'll just rapid fire. My then. story is a fake it till you make it story. No kidding. Uh, and I like got lucky from being a Smash player to get into the gaming industry in the first place. I went from an awful free-to-play MMO company to Zynga. As soon as it got IPO'd and morale went from here to <laughs> there. Okay. Uh, and like, you know, it was not great. Uh, and, you know, I was able to like, you know, Zynga has like a rep to it, right? And right. so I was able to like apply for the first ever project manager opening at Twitch, you know, when they've never, you know what I mean? It was like this, this position where they didn't even know what they wanted it to be, but they knew the kind of person that would like probably do well. Mm -hmm. uh, and as someone who like was at that time streaming on the platform, you know, I actually had on my resume that uh, while I was working at Zynga, I actually, I did nothing at Zynga. Okay. I did I did nothing. All right. I mean, what I did, okay. what I did was I focused on the stream and like we had the opportunity as the melee community to get our game back into Evo. It's like the biggest tournament, you know, the, the Super Bowl of fighting games. And it was like whichever of these eight games raises the most money for charity will be in like our top eight. And so, you know, it was like I'm honored and privileged to say that it was on my podcast where, you know, the community rallied kind of like every week or, you know, a couple times a week. And we all raised money together, you know, kind of like for this cause of, keeping our game alive and bringing it back into kind of like the spotlight, even for one tournament. 
So having that experience and like, you know, having project management experience, I was like a fit. Uh, and I think I just like, you know, I've had a lot of people help me kind of like learn how to, how to be good at uh, just like business acumen and kind of like figuring out how to get things actually done. It's right. really hard to get things it's done. It's really fucking hard to it's get things done. Super, it's really hard. Having uh, spent a year at something on the corporate level, like I was not, I was not into it because it took a year to get like two things done and then I left. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's a nightmare. So. The, the the gentleman that came up with bits uh, came from Zynga. I'm just gonna go ahead and start drinking now. No, that's, you know that's no, pretty classic. No, that it's, cool. No, oh, it did not. No, it did. Okay. Did not. I did not come up with bits. Like I was gonna I was gonna get on that, but Co, I'm glad you took it because you know we gotta attack from all angles here. We got it's the and perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I wanted to, I wanted to make we gotta keep him on his toes, JP. <laughs> yeah. Can't let him get comfortable. <laughs> right. So let's talk about <laughs> before we even get to bits. All right. I'm pretty sure if you're on Twitch, you know what bits are, but let's just start things. Let's it's Monday. It's around one o'clock pitch bits to someone who's never heard of them in the most simplistic who's never way. heard of them. Yeah. In the most simplistic way. So is it a pitch or is it an explanation? Because there's two, there's a big difference between those two it's, things. It's two o'clock on Monday, man. What, what do you say to people? <laughs> All right, so, I'm going to uh, frame my response first, and I'm going to say that if you pitch something, right, like, uh, man, if I were to pitch like my podcast, right, it's like mm -hmm. you can pitch what you want it to be in the future. I'm going to grow it. It's going to have this. Stuff. Or you can say the first episode is going to be a Skype call with no overlay and the chat just, you know, screenshotted on the right. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So like the pitch is never for the first thing. And like really what bits and what cheering are right now it is the first thing that we put out there and i know that you guys of people who who have grown successful streams know like probably your first stream sucked i mean my first stream I mean, sucked mine was state of the game it was pretty good are you serious yeah <laughs> are you actually I, was, serious right now? I was like episode 32 or something for say anyways let's move on i'm looking really yeah. really bad right now bobby save me Yo, let's move on. i got you i got you uh <laughs> And so, you know, the, the first thing that we put out, of course, we didn't want to put out anything that sucked. Uh, so, you know, but what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is what you're seeing today is not what I would pitch. But to explain what you're seeing today, you know, we felt that uh, kind of like to deliver this new thing, like at least one new thing. It's like you don't want to put anything out there that's going to be bad. And so it needs to do at least one thing that's like new and unique. And uh, the value add that we saw is like, you know, when I see moments on the platform that I love, uh, I want to be able to like react to it. I want to be able to like show my enthusiasm or excitement in a, in a very like, you know, frictionless way. And so we saw this big opportunity where, you know, instead of going through clunky flows, even to subscribe, uh, you know, resubscribe is not quite like that, but it's not really a reaction. It's like a, another declaration of like, I'm still here as a sub and I'm proud to be a sub. Um, we saw a big opportunity to be able to like buy this, uh, buy this good and to be able to use it in chat in a way that's like, you know, public because chat is like, you know, it's really where we all interact as a community uh, and also in a way that ultimately supports the broadcaster. Um, so, I mean, all that said, right, this is, this is the first version. Uh, and, you know, I, I think we'll probably talk about it later, but like there is a larger pitch, right. For what we're really trying to accomplish and why we think that this can like build communities and why it can like help people kind of like speaking to the, the real heart of Twitch where, you know, we're all gamers and we love kind of like, we love being a part of the gaming community. And I think like, you know, people subscribe because they feel a sense of identity for being a supporter or, you know, whatever, a fan of like a specific broadcaster, you kind of join a community. And we think that cheering can do that, you know, around moments as opposed mm -hmm. to around like a specific broadcaster who has like great content and a brand that you love, you know, even if the, even if it's your first time watching someone, you don't, you're not ready to declare allegiance. Uh, if there's a moment that's created in, you know, there, there should be a way to become a part of that moment in a meaningful way. All right. That's a good pitch. That's a good pitch. You mentioned oh, that. Tell, me, tell well, me that you guys, like, seriously, come on now. We, we got this idea from porn sites, right? Like from cam girl shit. I, was it? What, come on. So come I, on. Let's, maybe, let's, I, mean, I'll let, good, I was going to say something. I'll let not. Bobby answer this. Probably not. So yeah. I did not, not. As I said, I did not yeah. come up with the idea for bits. Okay. Uh, but Let me my, just tell you this. The first time it was ever pitched to me, I, that's the first fucking thing out of my mouth. I went, 
Oh, okay. So See, you're gonna do like cam girl thing, which is not it's not a horror, it's not a bad idea. They make lots and lots of money. They make lots of money that way, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, this idea is a cam girl's idea that What's, we're like making our own, which is fine by me. I just want to know, like the the question <laughs> I want to know. Maybe you know this because you're uh, you probably scoured the the internet looking for other similar forms of this of of bits. But did it happen first on porn sites or did it happen first on the streaming websites in Asia? So that's a great question. I do not know the answer to that question. I don't know uh, either. But my guess is, you know, uh, our CEO Emmett is a very, very sharp and intelligent I and good you looking go guy with that statement. <laughs> who I really like and think is awesome. Okay. Do you think he's watching? Honestly, he, he, he might be watching. Over under 50-50. Dude, there are tons of staff in here. Like there, there are a lot of staff. Let me see Optimize Prime in the chat. You know who that is. Uh, <laughs> my guess is that he came up with it. And just knowing him, I would assume that he learned about this and had the inspiration for it from streaming sites that are of a gaming content uh, relation. We're jumping completely out of the order. But again, me and Zeke and Co. were all there at PAX South when we were first told of this in early February. Yes. And I think that was the first thing out of my – and that was when it was under someone – Let. Okay, we're going to say that. We're going to jump back to the beginning. That was when it was under someone else's command. When did yes. Bits fall into – not fall – that sounds like a negative. But when did you take over the project of Bits? Was it shortly <laughs> after that? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, it was. And so, you know, from my perspective, like, uh, that was literally the best thing that we could have done, right? I mean, I actually think that this whole process has changed the way that I think about Twitch as a platform. Like, no lie. Uh, and, you know, we've – I've kind of changed my focus for this product specifically to like really, really work with broadcasters and, you know, the streamers, because ultimately like my feeling, my intuition, uh, and you know, not everyone at Twitch shares this opinion. So they kind of keep me in check, but my <laughs> feeling is that, my feeling is that like people love Twitch because of the people who create this content that they love and that they identify with. And like when I become a sub, I feel like I'm a part of like this bigger group of people who like all support this broadcaster. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, I think a broadcaster first approach is like very, very meaningful to me where, you know, to me like Twitch. So I actually worked on friends uh, and I worked on whispers and I worked on some other things. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, I think I was thinking about the platform in a very like, you know, wait, 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 hold, about, on, hold on whispers, like the singles bar. Sometimes on the Maybe show, Zeke to, tries to make it. a joke and then we just let it roll. <laughs> we kind of give like a charity laugh and then we just move yeah, on. Hilarious. But sometimes he'll like, he'll hit him. He'll just hit it on the spot and we're like, oh man, cap a clap for Zeke all over. But that just, let's just go over. <laughs> and then go Zeke, don't you wish people could cheer hey. for you in that moment? <laughs> we'll get there later, but don't you wish people could cheer for you when you make that sick joke on JP's channel? Just say <laughs> That would be a good thing. That would be a Sorry good thing. Sorry to interrupt with my dumb joke. I'll be up. <laughs> I'll slink into the back. Don't turn into spam fish, Zeke. It's not. We're not talking about spam just yet. Oh! <laughs> we'll get to him later on. All right. Okay. Bits. So anyway, friends, I was thinking about the viewers, right? Friends. It's like, oh, you know, there's like viewers and they want to connect with each other, blah, blah, blah. And like, okay, I, I don't think that it was bad, right? Uh, but... I think that if I had taken a broadcaster first approach, like I think there's something there, right? Where I do have a friend network and like they're called the subscribers of the channels that I subscribe to. And so like, why did I need to build all that UI where I find people, you know, and I add them as a friend, like maybe a better version of that could have just been, you know, all the subs of a channel are all like, you know, you just become, a, you just become friends. Like maybe that would have been cooler. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, yeah, when, when I started working on it, the last thing that, that we had done or, you know, the last thing that the previous team had done was talk to the partners at, what was it, Pack South? It was Pack South. yeah. We were all, yeah. I think the way it went down is we set up meetings prior to the event and no one had a fucking clue what was going to be talked about. We just knew that there was a group of 30, 50, uh, a large group. I don't remember the exact number of people yeah. that were brought into a, uh, like one of their little closed off panels. I guess we'll just talk about the experience a little bit. Uh, and there was five of us sitting around a table and uh, uh, there were multiple Twitch staff in there. Um, I think the, I'm blanking on his name and I feel really bad because I really like this guy. <laughs> but I'm blanking on who it was. Showed the video to us and everyone was kind of like, what the, 
the fuck did we just see? <laughs> like what, yeah. what are like everyone's initial reaction was like, the fuck are bits? And then they like yeah. spent the next <laughs> hour explaining it to us. And yeah. I think most people left there pretty excited. But one of the biggest things, uh, we we all voiced a pretty shared thought on it. And yeah. that thought actually shaped the program immensely from what it is now. And so like that, going to that was actually really cool. You talked about how it was shared with partners at the very beginning. Yeah. I think that was one of the best things Twitch has ever done kind of behind the scenes that people should know about. Like they talked to the streamers before it ever launched and they shaped yeah. the product around that, which is really awesome. And I hope that's a continual thing yeah i mean believe me when i say that like you know this is definitely creative waves in you know the way that we do things and i i think that actually we're at this point where we have this very interesting problem where i think people are reaching out to partners like so much that it's almost like whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa you know you <laughs> let's stop. make sure that we do this in the right way where you know yeah i think i think that you know twitch staff in general is like really excited about about having these personal conversations with the with the partners and i think that uh i for one very much want to do as much of it as possible you know, I honestly view you all as, I, how, I'm going to be honest, right? How can I think that I know better than you guys, right? Like what's going to be better for your channel? And your, am I, in, like, I feel like I would have to be a crazy person to think that like, I should just do it myself. Right. Well, I think there's also something that he said too, that that is why Twitch hires so many failed broadcasters. <laughs> 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 it's because they understand what it's like to be a broadcaster and bring that into the... I'm, I'm, I love every single, I'm joking, but still there's a oh, reason yeah. why broadcasters work at Twitch. <laughs> like they understand. They build broad <laughs> it's just a big group of failures. Oh my God. I had to. I can't shit, dude. I had, I'm on, I'm oh, full, I'm full. Me. No, no, you're a, you start, you copied state of the game. You went on the right path, man. You were doing exactly. great. You were doing exactly. great. <laughs> How do you still have friends at Twitch? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I made a new one today. We replaced them. Forgiveness. We got forgiveness. <laughs> forgiveness. There you go. They're a very forgiving lot. Trust me. <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of DMs right now. From bad people. Uh, but yeah, there definitely, there was important feedback. And, you know, honestly, like I, I remember like, you know, the, the feedback that I, that I felt like I got, you know, it was kind of like, you know, what is the story? Like, why are you guys doing this? That was kind of what I took away from all that. And, you know, at that point, I, I guess I had to ask that hard question and I, I definitely went in like some crazy directions where people were like, wait, what are you even thinking about? You know, where I even had this moment, you know, there was maybe a, I don't know, a month where I was deeply, deeply thinking about how can we make this bits product like a, a non rev share product and just offer sick like channel buffs or like on site benefits for like, you know, if people like use bits in your channel. And like, maybe we fly you out to TwitchCon or maybe like, you know, you get like some special kind of like de maybe you could like skin your messages, blah, blah, blah. So I was thinking about all these crazy things that we could do that are not, you know, rev share related and that really were like su supporting in a, in a more like, you know, how do you grow your audience and like, how do we give you more tools that like, we couldn't just give to everybody, you know, Joe Schmo broadcaster off the street where like it's like buying front page time or something. Yeah, exactly. You can't just give that to everybody. There needs to be some kind of like monetary signal that you're, or some way to earn that. Um, but anyway, point being, uh, we took a lot of time. We thought very, very deeply about like, what, what should this product be? What can this product be in the future? You know, and how can it really be a part of like Twitch culture, like what are all the best parts of Twitch culture? And it really needs to emphasize those things. Can you talk a little bit about what other, I mean, Zeke brought up, I don't, I think he just said porn sets. I don't think he said a specific one, but like what other websites actually affected the product and, and how did they affect them? Maybe don't mention if you, if you can't, I don't know what you can or can't, but yeah. How did I that mean, kind of like work into the product overall? Did, what did you like about it? What didn't you like, et cetera, et cetera. So, okay. When you say the product, you mean, I mean the bits. products on, oh. Yeah, like how, how did other websites impact bits? So, like I said, right, I, a lot of key decisions, I think, had actually been made by the time that I started working on the product. Like one of them was the name bits. Another was the uh, really, really slick and awesome, like experience of typing cheer in the number. And then, I don't know if you guys have seen it, because like, you know, you can't cheer in your own channel, but mm. like the emote changes like dynamically as you type. It's like one of the coolest and slickest experiences I think on Twitch right now. Uh, so all of that was in place by the time that I start, as well as okay. like, you know, 
them being animated emoticons and like triggering them uh, through like basically a regex in chat, right? Same as an emoticon. Right. Uh, so all those decisions had kind of actually been made. Um, and I think that like, you know, the fact that it's a digital co- good instead of a currency was already made as well, where, you know, I, I know about the, you know, other streaming sites and, and they traditionally have like a virtual currency that you use to buy something like flowers or balloons or whatever. And then you buy those and you use them as emoticons. Uh, to me, like, you know, when I've thought about this, I think that that's like a more rigid kind of system. Uh, and it also would have like, by the time that I started working on it, it would have taken way longer to build that thing specifically. Uh, so, you know, we kind of just stuck with it being a good that you can use a variable amount of using like the, the numbers in chat. So anyway, I guess my point is that uh, I did look at other streaming websites, but I, I do, honestly don't think that they, they really impacted kind of my thinking in a very meaningful way. You know, I think that like discussions with partners and just like my own experience as a partner uh, and my experiences like as both a subscriber, you know, someone who has donated through PayPal, someone who's received donations through PayPal, like kind of like thinking about why are these things really happening on the platform and like what's going to make Twitch uh, like a better place for basically keeping gaming and, and, and gaming streamers going. Random question. How many people were on the project with you? Oh, man. So by the time that, so we actually, uh, we, we did like a lot of like internal shifting at the time that I started. And so, you know, there was, there was the, the kind of like, there's a full engineering team, there's a designer, there's a product manager and a project manager. And then we kind of like switched to, so we have the, most of the same cast of characters, uh, as engineers. So we have, I think six super awesome, uh, you know, kind of like backend, I'm not technical, I'm so sorry, like non front end engineers. Okay. And then we just hired four more sick uh, front end engineers and we have an engineering manager and me and uh, a technical program manager who is awesome. Um, and so that's like our core development team. And then we also have like a product marketing manager who has sent you many, many emails over the past three days. And uh, yeah, we have a, I have a designer now. Ooh. Super stoked about that. Ooh. Now you can just go make all the things and, and break Twitch once again. No, honestly, yes. <laughs> Let's just let's just take everything. Let's just burn it all down. Well, I mean, I it kind of ha- kind of happened. We got next week though. We could go for the three weeks in a row. Last week was butts. Mm. This week is bits. Mm. And then you know next week, I, if you guys want to watch, oh no, the week before Twitch that was bots, bots but it oh, didn't break right, it. Well, you kind of just go. we already did it. You basically said fuck Twitch. Said fuck bots because you're. Anyways, we're getting <laughs> too deep now. We're going too deep. Co, it happened. They're suing all the the viewbot sites. Remember, that happened. Oh, it's true. That's yeah. the thing. That's the thing. We need to talk about that too. It's been too long since we've had a show. Uh, let's just do an open ended product or open open ended question here. Bits is launched. Is there anything you would want to change about the product as it is right now? Is there anything that you would look at it and just just change it? I mean, like my answer i think has to be yes right where where i want so many more things for the product like i i have all these i think very meaningful and awesome ideas that's going to deliver on this vision that i keep talking about right of like creating creating a sense of identity around being at a moment you know whether whether you like are a subscriber or not um and so like when we talk about the product i guess when i think about how we did it and how we took it to the twitch community I honestly think that like the best thing that we did through this whole, this whole process was like work with the partners in advance and like really give the partners the opportunity to introduce it to the community as opposed to like, I mean, we could have done a blog post, right? We could have done a blog post at 9am. We could have like, you know, given it to the press at 9am and then, you know, you guys stream whenever. And, but I think that, uh, working with the partners is the right way to like launch a feature and introduce a feature to the community. Um, and I like really wish if I, if I couldn't change one thing about it, it would have been like having more time to like reach out, um, to the partners and like work with you guys directly so that you had like a week or two each, you know, to kind of, uh, really make everything bake and think about like, how, how do I want to do this specifically? Uh, and like, I feel very bad actually that we couldn't release to everyone, but you know, I kind of think, you know, there's a having it both ways kind of thing where it's like, Mm. The more partners we reach out to, the more partners we need to reach out to, right? Right. So it's like, if we struggled to get 60 people like fully onboarded and fully baked, I mean, if we're talking about all partners, that is an insane effort and we just like literally can't do it. Um, 
And I mean, like, I'm very happy with, so to be honest, right, you, you guys know that we did the minimum bits to, 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 to send a cheer in chat. Like, we sent you that survey thing. Right, right, right. Last week, it was maybe Tuesday night, I like woke up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat <laughs> because if I had a dream of just all cheer ones filling everyone's chat and it's like, oh my God, no one can talk. It There's was basically Tim, Tim the Tap Man's channel two nights ago. Yeah, That's what it for was. For everyone, for everyone. And I woke up in a cold sweat and I was like, no, like this is not, this cannot happen. Like we need to do that. So anyway, there's like all these little risks and like little things that could have like really kind of messed up the chat experience for all of, all of the partners who agreed to be in this beta for us. And like, I feel like super honored and happy that, you know, everyone who we reached out to agreed to participate. And I think that's great. The truth is there was risk. And I think you guys all knew that. And it just so happens that I don't think that we you know, we didn't forget any like pieces of the Twitch product that would have ruined your stream, which is good, but it was possible that that could have happened. Um, um, I guess, does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I guess a lot of people were a lot of people were were up in arms due to uh, the exclusivity of this. Mm, can, yeah. can you speak about well, like? Can we just say spam fish? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I know other people were too. There was no, there was other people who just, some were more vocal than some others. Some were a little bit more vocal. <laughs> That's very true. But I'm just saying like that, I mean, that is, that is a valid thing. Like, it, it, I mean, why was it uh, only a certain number of partners? Yeah. I think that the best way to answer this question is I'm just going to be real, right? I'm going to keep it 100. Uh, Don't some say people that. in the What? Hold on. You said it first. You're going to keep it 100? I said what? It you said it first. <laughs> okay, go. Thank you. Uh, you know, there, there, not everyone in the world has said cheering is the shit. Cheering is the best, right? Not everyone has said that. So to roll it out to all partners, like to me, having partners say, oh man, I wish that I was in that thing. That's a, that was a, I had framed that in my own mind as a good problem to have, right? Where there's this other world where, you know, you guys didn't enjoy it. And like a lot of people thought, like a more percentage wise, people did not like, like the feature where, you know, a bad problem is if people in the beta are asking me, hey, I need out of this thing, right? Get me out. This is ruining everything. So it's one of those things where like the more partners we add, the, the more risk I'm kind of exposing everyone to and to have a global rollout. Like I think, so I guess if, if you put yourself in the perspective of imagine that this feature just turned on, no one had told you about it. It just turned on one day. You had an email in your inbox from Twitch saying like, we're going to turn on cheering today. No, we're not. We're not talking about butt removal. Right? We're talking about bits still, Bobby. Oh, we're not talking about butts. Yeah, yeah. That was last. This is this is bits. Yeah, that's kind of what they did with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, look, I gotta get. I have to have chat on my side, Bobby. That's all I'm saying. This for. Where is the yeah, chat? Chat on my side, but the staff not so much. Look, the so staff can shut the channel down, but the chat will will carry my memes. All right. Yes. That's what I'm looking Carry for. I, I, I'm, I, yeah. I am all about the voice of the people. Please I, keep it alive. That's true. But anyway, do you hear what I'm saying? Like, if we did it to all partners, we, that would have had to have been how we did how we did it. Like, there's no way we could reach out personally to 5,000 partners. It would have just been this feature that appears, you know, without any advance warning. And so, from my perspective, having a group of partners who I can work closely with and get feedback with, right? Uh, and, and like not dilute the feedback. Five five thousand people telling you something is like really hard to manage. Much right. much sixty. Um, you know, I felt like the right way to create a good experience for all partners was to have like a focus group who can give feedback and like a group where we could reach out with, to them first before just flipping a switch on. Well, to to expand on that oh, a little oh. bit, just just what you just said, there is a there is an open ended space to email feedback right now. Correct. Yeah. How many emails have you gotten since Monday? I mean, on Monday, I actually got a bunch. Uh, I could probably do the. I could probably find I, out. I'm, I just want to see the the ratio of emails sent with actual feedback to Reddit threads created with actual just vitriol. <laughs> and, well, okay, something else that I think needs oh, to be mentioned. Like, like, going back, like doing something rather than just screaming it yes. at your television. Yeah, exactly, one hundred percent. Sorry, so like we got around 30, 35 threads started since then. Go. Okay. Well, what I was going to say is like uh, another thing that I think a lot of people, and, and, I, and I was trying to stay out of this because there was a, a whole bunch of stuff on Twitter and people like were going crazy about this. This was a beta. 
This was a beta for a system that they don't really have a test bed on. There's not like another Twitch that they can just fire up to test this stuff on. There were all sorts of issues. Bad as yeah. were in other channels. They yes. didn't know how to treat spam. They like all this shit happened that it's like, if this was on every partnered broadcaster, it would have been a catastrophe. Yes. So it's like people are online on, on Twitter just making this big, like, why wasn't I in? Why wasn't I in? Think about it. It's a beta. You don't give a beta to your entire consumer base and everyone that's there and say, you know, hey, you know, let us know if it breaks and if everything screws up and everything's yeah. burning and on fire. Like right. that's that's not how you do a beta. So it, it's kind of crazy because like, I, I don't know. It's a brand new system. It, it clearly had some issues. It still has some issues. It still has public stuff. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's supposed to be small at the start. Uh, and, look, it's good, was, and it's was, good and it's working for everyone. Then you give it out to everyone. I wasn't close to being a partner when they first rolled out the partner program or this, excuse me, I'm sorry, the subscription program. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have the viewership, you know, I wasn't, you know, there yet, but was that not like, am I wrong in thinking that was the same thing? Like they, they picked like a handful of people and said, we're going to try this subscription program. We're going to give it to you. I like Tally was one of them. And like, you know, there's several people out there that have like 40 plus months of sub subscribers, like consecutively JP was one of them. And that, that's what I'm saying. Like, isn't that how they rolled that out too? Is, am I wrong? It is. Pretty much, yeah. And, and I wasn't even like, you know, i would not take credit for this idea, right? Like Emmett did say that. He was like, hey, think back to how we launched subscriptions and like, this is how we did it. So we we know that this is a way to like make something work. So yeah. And um, JP, you know how you change the minimum number of bits, right? <laughs> I mean, yesterday you messaged me on Slack. You yeah. said change, and we changed it manually. There's no configuration for that. So to do that for 5,000 people, it would never, it honestly wouldn't work. I mean, we would have had to spend a lot more time doing it Right. Uh, and then like that just decreases our ability to like, you know, realize the vision kind of thing, decreases our ability to make forward progress. Sure. Co, do you have a, we're going to jump in? No, no, that, that was, that was about it for that. Oh, yeah, no. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, what, what's the deal with only North American partners? That was something that was posted a lot. And I think a lot of people were confused by that. Maybe the, or, or maybe just up in arms about that. Uh, can, can yeah. you speak to that at all? Yeah, totally. So, I mean, uh, localization, basically, it takes a lot of time. Uh, and to do it right, especially, it takes a ton of time. Um, and so that was really like the major motivation of keeping it like US centric. Uh, I recognize that there are like, you know, EU broadcasters who have a majority of like English speaking viewers. Uh, and, you know, there are people who uh, their first language is in English, but they speak English just fine. But, uh, mm. you know, kind of like for the sake of, um, making sure that we get a polished and like good user experience to as many people as we can. You know, we try to just keep it us, us focus, I guess. Um, I don't, I don't know if in retrospect that was like the hundred percent right decision, but, um, you know, and it's also like slightly easier for us to kind of like reach out to all of these partners, you know, because we're based in the U S. Um, but yeah, yeah that's, that's basically the idea. I think chat will crucify me if I don't say this. Were there exceptions to that rule? I mean, Sacriel's in the beta for it and okay. he lives in Europe. So, I, like, I, I guess what yeah. I'm saying now, is, to like, be fair, Britain is no longer in the. Never mind. Yeah, he's not That's in the true. European Union. Oh, either. shit. Yeah. That happened too. I forgot. It all comes full circle. <laughs> Look, I'm we sorry. need to help Britain out back. as much as possible. We got to get him some bits because it's just plummeting. Have you seen the. It's just the value. I mean, the graphs I've seen are the literally. Graph. Woof. Uh, it's like jokes yeah, so flying over her head from Zeke, you know, it's just, yeah. I can keep uh, this so going. Just, I'm swimming. Just Help me. <laughs> I'm just swimming. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. I'm pretty uh, sure the bit, the pound ratio is quickly equalized. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Bobby. So yeah, there you go. Sacriel <laughs> might, might be, and it's possible that there are more non U S partners in the beta. Uh, if there are, you know, I, so Luckily, and never would I say that I did, I have an amazing team supporting me. I did not make every decision. And so like, you know, the, the list of partners, I don't know all the partners as well as a lot of people uh, at, at who work at Twitch. And so mm. you know, I, I worked very closely with our partnerships team to identify like, what's a good group of partners who are gonna represent like big broadcasters and small broadcasters, you know, people who don't have a lot of concurrent viewers, but have a lot of subscribers, people who don't have a lot of subscribers, but have a lot of viewers, right? Like trying to find a nice mix and, you know, people in creative, people who speed run, people who 
you know, play esports games, people who have who are variety streamers. We tried to like get as many different groups of broadcasters as possible. So that was kind of our criteria. Gotcha. Um, um, I was I was ahead. kind of uh, uh, apprehensive about using it. Like after we spoke with you, we had uh, all three of us had a discussion about it. And right. This was Monday. We were, yeah. Yes. And we were I, talking about like stuff like that. And I was kind of I was honestly like pretty turned off by the by the whole idea. Um, because, uh, I, we are, I mean, I have a system in place on my channel, which is just, you know, tipping through PayPal, like whatever, whatever, you know, platform you use to do that. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I don't understand why it would, why it would change and stuff like that. However, there, I mean, in the, like, is there versions coming? Are there versions coming that will allow people? Cause this is, this is what really kind of turned me around on the whole idea is there a system in place that will give bits out to people who cannot afford to buy them like for viewership, for loyalty, for stuff like that. So they can participate. Cause that's, that's what I was really excited about. I was like, Oh, so people who can't afford bits, who just like to watch TV, who want to sub, but can't, who want to tip, but can't who want to participate in the chat, but, but can't because of money. I like the, I want to hear if there's like, bit incentive programs yeah, like coming a, a token system or something yeah. of the equivalent yeah well i don't know anything about tokens but like yeah rewarding users for <laughs> that's fine or uh like some action with bits is definitely something that like we're very very excited about and we want to deliver uh so you know working at a tech company i actually know some, you know i know how twitch is structured specifically right uh and there are things that my team can do without the help of other teams but there are very few um and so we're going to focus on those first and we think that we can have some non, you know, take out your credit card way of, of earning bits or being rewarded with bits. Um, soon. I don't know how comfortable I feel saying those words to you uh, and to your to the wonderful people in chat. Uh, but like, it is very, very high on our list because like, yes, we want it to be very inclusive. We want everybody to be able to participate. Uh, that's kind of like the dream of, you know, the, the marketing and the the kind of like the blog post may may not, like I said, this is the first version, right? And so our our vision, you know, the tagline was like cheering together, and you know Anna's video uh, really speaks to that. I mean, she wrote all that herself, and uh, you know we had talked before she wrote it, and you know that's really what we want to accomplish with this product, you know, a way to celebrate together, and it's all in support of the creators that we love, um, and like yeah, if the only way to do that is through money, then that's like not we're not really delivering on that vision, that mission. Um, so yeah. Well, more importantly, I mean, with a, with a system like that, and, and when I read the, the recent FAQ, which by the way, thank you for that. Cause that was definitely answered a lot of questions that I was seeing. Thank you guys. The community. Um, opening, like, uh, I think it's kind of interesting because a lot of people like the cheering system right now, if, if you look at everything that's currently implemented, and factor in all the factors of it, you know, how much Twitch is taking for the bits, what the viewer and the caster are getting for this system, et cetera, et cetera. I think many people are kind of like, this could be cool. It's not really cool. It's, it's, it's interesting right now. And the animated emotes are fun and stuff, but it's not, it's not like it's, 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 it's an unfinished, it's a half sculpted sculpture. Yes. Yeah. We kind of see where it's going, but mm. we, it's also very not there yet. Yeah. So reading some of that stuff in, that FAQ specifically, that's the kind of stuff that got me kind of excited for it. The idea of a system that it's a revenue line that's fully under Twitch's control. So yeah. you can put it wherever you want it. You can implement it however you want it. This is something Twitch has never seen before in yeah. that regard. You know, like the idea, and especially like, like it said on that thing, the idea that someone could earn bits for doing stuff on Twitch and then maybe turn around and sub to their favorite broadcaster down the road with bits for the first sub they've ever been able to do on Twitch and having all that kind of come together in a system that would have never been possible before. Um, that's the stuff that I think is really cool about it. But again, it's like, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say we, we not only of course, wish we were there now, but we want to know like where it's going. Like, like, yeah. you know, bits, bits could have a weekly bit update by you know every two days bit update saying like hey this is what we've done this is where we're going like this is a this is one of the saying a little bit at a time co is that what what's up are you saying a little bit at a time no i'm not and fuck you are you saying, are you saying, saying bit by bit nailed them. <laughs> wait, well, wait, basically wait, it's just it opens up all these doors <laughs> that just weren't there before and i and that's the part that gets me kind of looking at cheering and going 
hey, this could be really cool. But I think that, that yeah, getting there as quickly as possible, I think will satiate a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that, that's kind of, you know, the way that I feel about all this, like I would love, and I mentioned this to you guys earlier before we started the show, like I would love permission to speak about like the vision, right? Like, where do I want it to go? And where do I think is the right place for the Twitch community without making specific promises that like, right. you know, I'm going to get crucified if it doesn't happen well, in a month. Uh, what if we phrase it again that you got to make, you got to make sure you don't get fired by the end of the show. So I understand if you can't. Yeah, we need you to lead bits. I'm Bobby. putting you, <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot here. I'm here. I'm not going, they, they will have to throw me out. Can he say, anywhere. can he say, can you say, please, Bobby, can you say what you said when we're like, before we started the show? Dude, I can, I, so. Well, hold on, on what? That There's a lot of things that were said. <laughs> he was talking about like, I'd rather die. Oh, <laughs> no. But, it is, but no. it is, let me, uh, between the, th the four of us. Okay, and yeah. Beautiful people in chat, I want you all to know. So there's like, a, there's worlds that could happen, right? As a result of this product. There was one world where viewers love bits and cheering so much that even if broadcasters don't like it, uh, viewers will do it. Throw me at, fire me if that happens. Honestly, fire me. I don't want to be on Twitch ever again. Uh, and that was the last we ever yeah, heard. Yeah, Bobby, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, I appreciate uh, you being here, man. Thanks for your time. Next and... next Twitch staff member, bring him on. Let's get him out of here. <laughs> Let's get him fired. Let's get him fired. His chair just rolls off. Stop becomes the conveyor belt out of Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we do your exit interviews at Twitch. That's actually what And meanwhile, be... Bobby's sitting here like. Yeah. <laughs> Please, yeah. Bobby, please continue. Sorry. DJ just... Weeks got about 15 minutes left and he's yeah. gone. <laughs> Sorry. And if I do anything to hurt the partners that I love on our platform, I really just want to, I just want to be out. You know what I mean? Like my best friends in the Smash community are like making their living on this platform. Like this is very personally important to me. And like my whole community, the Smash Brothers Melee community, like this is where we live. We never had a home until Twitch, right? We were in basements running tournaments. We, we had like VODs on YouTube that like, 200 people would watch and we'd be like, oh my God, this is like, there are people who care about this game. And we never grew until Twitch. We never thrived until Twitch. Twitch is like our home. And mm. so, you know, it's very personally important to me to, you know, to service this community and to like do something that's really good and important for the community. And if I don't, then even, you know, imagine we made a ton of money. I would feel like a failure, right? I, I just don't want that to be my legacy. I would rather the people benefit from my work than you know, I don't know. I got to say, like, and I, f I would feel remiss if I didn't mention something of this nature, but when people, like, see programs like this and yeah. they say stuff like, this is corporate, it's another way for Twitch to make money, it's another blah, 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 blah. There's all the, I mean, there's all the business reasons in the world that you could, that you could say, like, you know, that's absolutely true. But knowing as many people that work at Twitch as I do. And I've met a ton of people that actually work for Twitch. These people, like, I'm not kidding you. I'm not being a shill. I'm not, you know, <laughs> being out of turn and telling tales out of school. These people actually give a shit. They give a shit about us and they give a shit about the site and they give a shit about making money. Like bleed purple is actually kind of true when it comes to the Twitch staff. Like I just want to get that point across as someone who is not a Twitch employee, you know? Right. So, so no, let me, let me, let me, I'll go ahead, Bobby. Are you sure? The please, please. Yeah, he's you know, here I, every show. You're here once. You yeah, know, if my I'm mouth right. opens, you might not be able to close it. No, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, you know, the JP, I see your reaction. We're good. Uh, We're good. Like, where we want to go with this, and like I said, this is a vision, right? Uh, I want to create, like, very, like, completely new ways for us to celebrate together in support of whoever we want. You know, when I talk about, like, when I think about things, I think about, like, what is good for the people, right? Like, this kind of you know, I try to push myself to be, to just think about the end user and like, you know, everyone who is on Twitch and what's good for them. And for me, like, there's a couple things that I want to do. So number one, I think cheering together is important because I was actually in a, in a stream the other day where Trihex, one of my personal friends and Fugi, another one of my personal friends <clears throat> were interacting through cheering and Fugi uh, use, he cheered 10,000 bits. So that's like a lot of money, right? And I have a bunch of uh, bits in my account. And I was like, you know, I, I want to cheer too, but I don't want to use all those bits. And I also don't want to do less because I'm going to look like a buster. You know what I mean? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to look as cool. So I just did nothing. And like what I really wanted to do in that moment is I wanted to take my bits and add it to his. I wanted to have, 
I wanted to celebrate together with him, right? Where I don't need to look like I'm outshined, but I can like join in. And so one thing that I imagine that the people can do with this product in the future is if everybody thinks that I'm an idiot and I'm all about free speech, your chat could like cheer 100, hashtag scar is dumb. And if everyone else cheers <laughs> along with it, like that, that should be a prevailing statement. That's a way for the whole community to interact with the stream in a new way where you can't like, you can't do that today. Like imagine if enough people cheer for that, that message gets pinned to the top of chat, right? Where it's like, not about the person who is using the most bits, but it's about the number of people, you know, cheering together, especially if there's free ways to, you know, acquire bits. Uh, I feel like it's like a new, it's like a truly new interaction on the platform. Now, hold on, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, I mean, I, I, like you're asking people to cheer. I understand it's your thing, but like you realize that JP is the only one getting the bits for this. When are we going to be able to do the at bits? But wait, right. There's more where I feel like, you know, there are people who, <laughs> JP, come on, dog. My, 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 <laughs> I can't, I, have to, I can't actually zoom my camera. Uh, yeah. I, we said this before the show where like Zeke, if you make a bad joke. Maybe nobody cheers for you. But if you make the best joke of all time, I don't see why, even if we're not on your channel, why can I not cheer for you personally and share my bits, right? Why my bits used to cheer for you, like is me trying to support you. And further, if it's literally the best joke that's ever been made, then I don't see why viewers are not making clips of this joke and why, you know, if people are watching and they have a couple, you know, they have a couple bits in their inventory, they can cheer as well. And then the people in the future can see all of the cheers that have ever happened on this moment where Zeke told the best damn joke of all time. Why not? It's happened once. That would be awesome. That's not happened. That's, that's, that's never happened in I, my life. <laughs> I think like, yeah, cheering together is very, very personally important to me because, you know, I've gotten a lot of feedback about like hierarchy and like, that's not what we want. You know, it's not like you, you don't use bits like say, oh, wow, I'm like way cooler than everyone else. I think that Twitch is not, the Twitch that I love is not about that. It's about, you know, all of us watching together and all of us like supporting the broadcaster together, whether it's by, you know, watching ads or subscribing or, you know, just tuning in. I think one of the other things that kind of the elephant in the room for me, at least, and I think for a lot of people as well, when it initially launched and you guys have talked a little bit about it is the idea of, you know, a revenue share, the revenue split, whatever the, the billion ways you can really call it uh, in, in the, I guess the lack of transparency there. And I understand as a broadcaster who's in this, I kind of like the idea of people not knowing how much money I'm making. I kind of like, that's a cool thing. But I understand also that if people want to get bits, they want to know how much of these bits are going to a broadcaster when it's cheered, right? Yeah. Well, so yeah. hold on. To JP, they, in the last FAQ, they clearly said every bit equals one cent. Right, right. And I'm kind of, I'm basically. And then you can look at the prices of buying bits and you can see exactly how much Twitch is. Like there's no. Which by the way. Totally the, understand that. I was letting him get it. I was, I was wanting him to say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a setup question in, in the Sorry show business. Co, that's a that's a setup question. You, you like you like the, he give the slow pitch and you ran out there with a bat. <laughs> I did. I literally attacked the pitcher with a bat. Yeah. I like let yeah. the ball just go by me. I'd I was serving it up for him bat. to basically say exactly yeah. that. But uh, please, Bobby, just give me all the hard ones, JP. Just uh, just make it way more. Difficult. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think like when I when I think about uh, when I think about the split. Uh, and we did we did make it clear, right? This is a this is like a beta. We just launched a product. We're gonna make some mistakes. And like from my perspective, uh, we like never talk about this with subs. It's just like it's it's been okay. So we just assumed, right? It was right. like I kind of took it for granted that it would be clear that you were supporting the broadcaster. Uh, and you know, we did try to make a big deal out of calling it like you know you support the broadcaster just like you do when you subscribe. Um, but you know, we we heard the community's feedback and we felt obliged to respond. And I'm ha very happy that we did. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to say is when I see decimal math is not easy. Uh, division is not the easiest <laughs> thing of all time. When it's like a hundred bits and a dollar 40, that is not actually 40%. I promise. If it were a hundred bits. Oh yeah. I saw, yeah, cents, I saw that math. Yeah. Then it would be 40, but it is not, uh, at the lowest end. It's like 29. It's like 71% to the, yeah. Now, the how about this? 81%. this is the question I, I I've been waiting, like kind of waiting to ask you, um, hit me. I can, I can, I can absolutely say to my channel that I want out of the bits program. I don't want to be in it. And I can, t no, I'm just saying like, I, 
I'm sure there's broadcasters <laughs> Zeke, that want Zeke, don't to- give up that money. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I got you. I got you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, if I were to say I don't want any part of this at all, I could opt out of it and encourage my chat to keep using the same system that we've been using because of whatever reason, mainly because uh, I would say I don't like the split. Yeah. I would say that's the biggest reason for wanting to opt out. It's like, I would rather you tip me through this system than bits because the split is just crazy. Totally. From my perspective, I would think that that's totally fine. And like, it would basically just mean that like the product that we've built is not compelling enough, right? We need to add more value to you as a broadcaster. Um, and like, not necessarily like just through giving you more money, um, you know, by like giving you real benefits that like actually impact your livelihood on the platform and your ability to succeed on the platform. Or like by creating a, like a really sick experience for your viewers that like helps you engage with them in a new way. Um, so it's like, there's a balance between like the cut and like the, the, the amount of value that we're providing. Um, and like, I guess to be completely clear, right? Like PayPal is, a, a, and a, you know, a donation means a very specific thing, right? Donation is like about giving money. Right. Uh, and PayPal is super good at that. That's their whole business. So they're going to be really, really good at giving the most money possible. And like, you know, I have no problem whatsoever. And I don't think you should either uh, about saying if your goal as a viewer is to give as much money to the broadcaster, you know, you could put cash money in an envelope. You could use PayPal. You could like, just use the best tool for that. Uh, and, and like cash money in an envelope, then chargebacks on that. There you That's go. That's true. Yeah. There you go. Uh, that PO and, box and, quick, Zeke. <laughs> and, yeah, as right. a bro- and as a broadcaster, if that's the way that you want to be supported, then like, you know, I, I believe that you should be able to like encourage that. And from my perspective, I know that like, there's nothing I can do you know, as, as a product manager, if I don't build enough value, if you turn the alerts off for, for cheering, I mean, it's, it's just, that's what it is, right? I mean, if you don't interact with those messages, it's just done. Right. Right. Like I, I, and my goal and Twitch's goal is not to prescribe what tools you use. It's to build new tools that like will help you be successful. And like, we know that not only do we know that you can like opt out of anything that we do, but, uh, well, I guess you can't opt out of literally everything that we do. We should be responsible about that. But it's not our goal to be prescriptive about what you use. It's our goal to build new things that are like really, really valuable to you. I don't think that the very first version is like, you know, it, it's enabling new things, right? The Muxy overlays, the cup thing, like that's really cool. And it's a brand new thing on our platform. I think that it's cool. I've seen no, it no, in I, it's, a variety of ways. I like when, um, uh, when Tim the Tap Man had it drizzling down on top of his head uh, during I his stream. That, that, was, that was good. I saw, I saw that clip. But Co, I guess you're missing you... out. Let me tell you about late night Twitch, Co. When you're sleeping, <laughs> things get rowdy. Crazy Twitch still goes on when you're sleeping, Co. Yeah. Dude, I hit the early bird specials at the cafeteria, <laughs> and then I'm out. 5 p.m. It gets done. a little crazy. And then I guess the last thing that I'll say about the split, right? You know, because we generate money through this, right? That's like how the, the business kind of fuels itself. And we hire full-time people to work on this into perpetuity, I hope, you know, I want to be working on this product for like four or five years. I'm going to be completely honest. I think there's enough work and enough value we could build that we can keep investing money into like keeping this system alive. The other side of things is that we can use that money to give free bits away, right? Like every time that that a viewer earns a bit from, for example, like tweeting out the stream or watching, you know, enough uh, video, if they're not watching ads, like really us serving more video is not good for us, right? It's like bandwidth costs. So we need to find some way to actually be able to, to give this, these bits away because, you know, anytime somebody uses a bit to cheer, that's like one cent that we pay out and we should be creating experiences where like we're not being irresponsible. Right. And we're actually helping broadcasters succeed. Like if we fail as a platform, then we fail all of you guys. Um, so I, I think that that's like why it is what it is now. And, you know, from my perspective, if, if we learn that uh, we're doing like super well, and we don't like actually need that to keep the platform alive. I, I would do my best to like run sales or like change the, you know, find out new ways to give more bits to the viewers who are doing good things, not getting banned, right? Like watching maybe turbo or subscriptions, maybe like with your sub anniversary. We need that dude from the Allstate commercial come in like accident forgiveness. The president yeah, from 24 not been banned in a long time. You get some more bits. You know, she's like, that's, that's the redeeming factor of bits for me, honestly. The redeeming factor of bits is giving people that uh, are financially poor an opportunity to participate in supporting a broadcaster more than more than they could before. 
that yeah. idea has me probably the most excited about bits is is the idea of getting them into the hands of people that would never have the opportunity to contribute otherwise that's really cool one one thing that i'm kind of wondering about is you know bits have dropped we we the the problems are out there what's good is out there and and bobby i know this is a, a very open ended question so feel free to answer it however you'd like sure. like what is what is the next step you know, like what's, what happens in two weeks? What happens in a month? You know, is there like, and, and I completely understand if you just say we're working on it. That's an acceptable answer. Um, but like for the people that are wondering, like, okay, here's the system as it is. I have big problems with it. Where do we go from here to, to inspire that value that you were talking about? Like what is, in your mind, what, are, what is that spider web connection? Yeah. I mean, from the, I think that the coolest potential like new interaction, uh, and I've gotten requests from everybody around like the minimum bits and the, and even like some people wanted maximum bits, right? Because it's like, you know, just right, using, yeah. you know, differentiating yourself, like maybe a little bit too much or like kind of, you know, just doing something that like the partner ultimately doesn't want in their channel. Um, and I think that the most elegant solution to that is like the idea of being able to like take the bits messages that are, that are actually good um, at the, the cheers pretty much. And like maybe having them, I don't know if we can pin them to the chat. I would really like to have like a timed pin at the top of chat. Like, you know, if you use above, let's say 500, this is probably what I would configure for my stream, right? I would actually probably say 100. If you use 100 bits, then, you know, you get your, your thing like pinned to the top of chat for like 10 seconds or something. And anyone can like choose to cheer along with you, right? And so if there's a prevailing sentiment in chat, you know, you're being an idiot or, you know, that was hella funny or like switch games or whatever the, the, the sentiment is, right? It's hard to just read through chat and figure out, oh, everybody actually wants this thing. Um, but, you know, if, if I could see how many different people and what the total number of bits used to cheer for this thing is, I think that would be a really cool interaction. And I, I hope that we can build that soon. As well as like that if somebody did awesome. something lame uh, and then someone else can decide to like cheer against that, right? And start a different cheer. And, you know, the 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 people get to decide what the prevailing cheer kind of is. Um, you know, today we don't have any real way to say like that there's like this shared sentiment in this way. For right. example, like just now, if I had that built, the community could like, especially if you could earn bits uh, in a non-paid way, you know, you could say like, yeah, we think bits are cool or no, we think bits are lame. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to see that actual interaction in the chat. And I think that uh, there's a lot of potential there. That's true. I feel like uh, we kind of barraged you with questions a little bit. So I guess since we are kind of going to stop the bits conversation after this segment, Cohen, okay. for you guys, I guess my own personal experience, I think for me, and, and I was, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I've said this on the broadcast before uh, the past two days, for whatever reason, I've always felt a little bit uneasy about the idea of a tip being sent over PayPal to me. But that, whatever that uneasiness is is completely gone with bits and i think it's because it's built into twitch i don't have to worry about saying it to a tax guy at the end of the year because you have to send every fucking paypal interaction to the tax guy so he can write it off blah blah, blah. and i don't have to worry about like filing it like it's just done it's an interaction that is done in the chat and it's over and for me i think that is like one of the biggest tips or one of the biggest perks of it for a broadcaster as well as the fact that I don't get a lot of tips on the channel in general. Historically, we've probably gotten, well, I'm not gonna say the number, but we've gotten a very low amount. The past two days, we've probably gotten more in the past two years than I ever have in tips through bits. And so for me, it's working out fantastically. Yeah. And so I, I'm, I'm incredibly biased due to money from bits, but like, I love the program so far and I can't and wait see, to see what you guys do with it. But Zeke, it, you're the opposite. Well, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like whatever kind of like i don't know it's about cultivating a community right uh like my community yeah. was like bits we don't give a shit whatever and like I, I don't know like i made i would say probably less off uh this week than i did last week um because my my personal community i don't know i don't know why but my personal community doesn't really like care. They're just, uh, and, and I, and I'm never like pushed any sort of like money grab unless it's like a, like a charity event or something like that. Right. Like, right, I, right. I've, ne I've never like had like a sub this day or a, a bits or, or a, or a tip this day for this kind of a thing. 
And I think maybe that's why, but that's why I brought up the question of opting out because, uh, or not, op- not opting out, but n- not necessarily like embracing it fully mm. because I have made less money this week because of that. Co, what about you? For me, um, I, I, I like, I like everything. And this kind of goes back to what you said, JP. I really like getting everything under the same umbrella. Hmm. I think that's a real good step in the right direction. Um, To just speak completely frankly, um, I feel the split is, and this goes back to what Bobby said, the value thing. I think the split right now is angled towards a system that's not made yet. And it's very hard for people to see that. So they see the split and they go, this isn't good value. And that immediately starts bringing up negative emotions. Why would I use this system? What's the point of the system, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's like, it's, it's kind of like the opposite of, of putting your best foot forward. It's like you're charging for something that's not quite realized yet. However, all that being said, um, I, I think that, I mean, I've spoken with you, Bobby, a lot. I know, I know a lot of the directions this could go. I know a lot of the places yeah. it could go. Yeah. And when all of this stuff is implemented, I could see this thing being what, like the go-to, like this is what people use. You know, when you can cheer for clips, when you can cheer for highlights, yeah. when you can go to someone's profile and see their top attributed cheer with when it yeah. was and what they were doing. You know, there's all this interconnectedness that could completely change how Twitch functions right. with the system. And I think it could be awesome. Right. But the issue is that we're charging for that system when it's not made yet. Yes, And I think that's where all this negativity is coming from because they're going, why aren't you just doing the same as PayPal? Why didn't you match yeah. PayPal and make this a system where we not only can use it and have it be fun, but it's also financially lucrative because that's totally. not how it is right now. But totally. again, I, I'm, I'm, I, I like the system. I think just like Bobby said, the things could have been differently rolling it out. Um, but, and, and I'm mostly, I, again, I'm, I'm not Twitch and I can't speak for Twitch, but I'm extremely excited to see where this goes. And most importantly, I hope it gets there quickly. Yeah. Because I'd love to see all these people right that now. That makes all of us. I'd love to see this. The, all these people that are, that are berating cheering right now and six months go, well, shit. So this is a cool system now. Wanna, like, that's what I want. I want to steal what from. Gonna happen. That's what I want to see. I want to steal from Dan's gaming. It's something that he's been echoing a lot on his stream. And it's the idea of when subscribing came out on Twitch years back four or five years back every it, it was the same thing but twitch wasn't big as big back then so it wasn't like the barrage of reddit right now that, that you've seen the past 48 hours everyone hated it no one understood why the fuck you would ever want to subscribe to a broadcaster what the fuck emotes were fast forward five years it's the most common thing in the world to say oh yeah i got a sub button partners strive for partnership to get a sub button. It's a goal now. It is, it a, is a literal goal, goal. and yeah. a milestone as a streamer now. And so I hope that's what we're saying, not five yeah. years from now, but six months from now. Couldn't have said it better, JP. I mean, fingers crossed less than that. Our goal is, you know, sooner than that. Um, but I mean, I don't think that, I guess closing statements, right? I don't think that I can do that alone. And I'm so happy that I have this awesome group of partners to work closely with so that we can get there together, right? Because like I said, you guys know your communities. And you guys know like what your viewers want. Um, we have ideas for directions, but you know, we want to work truly together and we want to make a product that's like <clears throat> representative of what the Twitch community wants and cares about. Um, and I, I agree, Co, that like, you know, the the value prop, this is a beta, right? So we kind of acknowledge that there there's a there's a split that's up in, right in front of you, and then there's a value proposition. And we want to deliver on that. Um, and I guess from my perspective, I respect everyone's opinion on bits and on cheering. Uh, and if people don't see the value in it, I hope that they like, don't use it. Um, you know, same with the broadcasters, same with the viewers, but you know, if you want to, for, for me, my priority is to work with the partners and to make sure that every, every week, every two weeks, every three weeks, we're delivering something new that adds value and that, you know, we <clears throat> deliver on that goal. Zeke, I, I see that you've been thinking very hard for the past five minutes. What, what's yeah. in the brain? What's, what's about to come out of that mouth? I'm trying, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to think of a way to frame like, like, um, let's like workshop the, it. Let's work. Bobby and no, no like, one less. Like, it's just me and you here, Zeke. All right. Just talk to me, Zeke. What's going on? <laughs> How's it going? What's up? 
So there's, okay, j- just from the chat, and I won't, you know, call anybody out, but, like, there's, there's like, you know, a beta program that has, quote, unlimited monetary, you know, like, uh, you can get as, you can get unlimited money f- from a beta program. Like, f- if you're in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it seems like, seems unfair to like other partners like you're 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 not giving a free game out you're giving out like like co and jp said like they're making you know lots of money from this beta program that other partners can't that can't be a part of now is that just because like that's the way it is and that's kind of what's going on i think that there's a lot of you know, if you kind of separate out the issues, right? I, I think I understand what you're asking me. And I think that like for some partners, we are delivering on that value of, you know, the, the kind of like, you know, <clears throat> you pay a certain amount for bits and the broadcaster gets a certain revenue split. But I don't think that we've done that for all partners. And like, that's kind of my goal where I feel like if I, sh- if I have released a product that hurts some partners, like I pretty much have failed, right? And if I release a product that the viewers kind of like don't like or don't understand, I feel like that's also kind of a failure. And so given that it's not there, uh, it doesn't feel great to me to release it to all partners, right? Like it, it sounds like that's what some of my, even the beta partners are kind of feeling where does that make sense or does that not make sense? I mean, I understand what you're saying, but oh. I think most people will, will take that from the, it, another I angle. The, <laughs> the complication is that it's a beta system using real money. Right. right. So, I mean, it's, it's, that's what take I was the, to say. Take, uses real money. Take ah. the real money out of the equation, and you know, like here, here's here's a way to think about yeah. it. Us casters that are in the program, the last few days, I'm going to be honest, been a bit rough. We've had to describe what cheering is all the time. People are talking about it every time an emote's done. It erupts into a discussion. Like it's it's not super easy to have an active cheering community right now. When again, the value isn't there. There's confusion about the system. All this stuff going on. So it's the kind of thing where. You know, it would have been nice to, of course, give that option to everyone. But at the same time, I got to be honest with you, if I was doing all that stuff and it wasn't real money, I would be on the opposite side going, so what, are you going to cut me a check for doing this for you? You're going to cut me a check for being public, your brand new system that I didn't make? You know, it's like, it's it's a two-way street. And also what's kind of interesting is I got to admit, I've seen the same people complaining about not being in it are the people that are complaining about the split. And it's like, what, like yeah. what are you are you what, what's it gonna be <laughs> you can't, it can't be both what's it gonna be yeah. and it's like you know it's it's just it's one of those situations where there's no right answer and there's multiple different perspectives on it so yes. i mean i think i speak for twitter i'm saying they're doing the best they can but it's like this is a situation when not everyone's going to be happy like yeah. there's, there's going to be someone who is not right in or included I, that wants to be there's what five thousand casters they can't give everyone beta so it's like, well, there's, there's yeah, what? It's just, 14, it's kind of 14 yeah. plus thousand partners. They can't give everyone beta. Like, yeah. Right. It, it, that, that's the other I guess thing, the only though, thing that I would say to the real money. Real, sorry. No, to no, cut no, you go off. ahead. Go ahead. The only thing I would say to the real money is like, I totally understand that. I'm very sympathetic to it. Uh, there's no like te- the, the value of the tests that we're doing and the learnings that we're getting goes way down. If it's not a real platform situation where there, it, you know what I mean? Like if you don't think of it as a caster, as mm-hmm. what it's ultimately going to be like real money, if it's funny money, like, are you going to thank people in the same way? Like, are they not going to ask the same question of what, why am I buying this? Like, if they didn't have to buy it, then like, are they actually going to do what they would do if they did have to buy it? Like all those things go away. Um, and so to have an actual like experiment that we can learn from and, you know, get feedback and turn it into a system that is going to work for all partners. Um, you know, we need it to be a, as close to like the real scenario as possible. Right. Right. I think that that makes perfect sense, but. I think to kind of further what Zeke was saying and and maybe switch the tables a little bit, if I wasn't involved in this beta process, I'd probably be just as pissed as everyone else who isn't. I understand that that's a shitty fucking thing. Like 100% being left out of anything, especially something that makes money on a platform that you love is the worst. Yeah, absolutely. And there's literally like, that's, that's all it, that's, that's it. Like you, you can, and I, again, I say this to someone in it, so take it, they take that for what it's worth. But like, there's literally nothing you can do except try to let it just get to you eventually. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, I mean, Twitch is not going to let every single person into this, and that's that. Like, that's yeah, just not, the, the, not, the, the truth. That's that's the brutal truth. 
not speaking for Twitch, speaking as myself, like I definitely feel bad. And I like personally, as mo as best I can apologize to all of the partners who aren't in and who want to be. I mean, I think like in reality, it was because like I, I was very afraid that it would hurt, you know, their, their like livelihood. And, you know, I felt like the best way to run this experiment or to, to learn what works with this system and like not hurt anyone uh, was the way that we rolled it out. And I'm not sure that I would do it too differently if I had to do it again in terms of like choosing a limited number of partners and reaching out to them in advance and, you know, working with them closely. Right, right. Uh, well, I think okay. I came uh, oh, just ahead. just real quick, just real quick. I, I sure. promised my viewers that I would do this because once the bit thing rolled out, I, I said, give me some pros and cons and stuff. Oh, sure. Yeah. And I, I just just minor little like not maybe not minor, but like the, the pros and cons list that they came up with. Uh, just give me the cons real quick. Uh, what happens like what happens if they mistype a bit number like they want to do bit 1000? I do bit 10,000. What do we do with that? Uh, a very I mean, expensive uh, lesson yeah. in learning how to type properly. Yeah, literally, you need to go to typing school for 10,000 bits. Uh. <laughs> uh, Bobby, you want to, like, what? So, I mean, if you do more than 1,000 bits, it takes, there's like a countdown, right? And you can cancel it. So, that oh. was. I didn't know that. Yep. Okay. I didn't right. know that either. That's and that really that barrier of entry starts at 1,000? I believe it does, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think okay. it would really suck if someone slipped on the keyboard and now they're broke. Yeah, their cat it's just happens to walk over. Ten, it's not that big a deal, but like, or like, excuse me, 100 to 1,000 is not a big deal, but 1,000 to 10,000, you have a little thing in place. Well, even from 100 to 1,000, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It trips at 1,000, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. It's good uh, let's see. Uh, you have five seconds to... <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a mad dash. Uh, let's give them those 1,000... Uh, Oh my God! <laughs> I need to make escape work as well. I would love more keyboard shortcuts in general. Ah, uh, yeah, just to, to cancel the whole thing. Yeah, that'd be good for sure. <laughs> you should make it Control X, so not only does it maybe cancel it, it just kills the entire window. <laughs> that'd be a fun troll on people. I'd enjoy it. I'd enjoy it. Make it happen, Bobby. Zeke, your next question. Uh, well, a lot of these actually, a lot of these have been answered. Like through the blog post like we don't know like the the worth of the bits whatever um someone said bits the bits are ugly they're ugly they're <laughs> like, gross. yeah like it, well i mean you know we're going to customize everything right it's just a matter of time that's, that's, the, that's the, the question, question. yeah you yeah, know that we're going to do it cool i mean we have well, i mean that's twitch right from my perspective that's twitch you guys make your channel the way you want so what you're saying is it me it me jp happy could could unfold from itself and my tongue could come from the center oh jesus christ <laughs> Already the worst demon on Twitch. One thing that I will say um, that would be awesome, Bobby, is something that I've heard a lot of feedback. <laughs> from. This is just a random like, hey, let's tell Bobby cool ways to do the system. Um, a lot of people have mentioned that A, they'd like to hide their bits badge and B, they'd like to prioritize their Twitch turbo badge over their bits badge. Uh, I think having those as options would would help a lot of people. Or I believe so. We did hear that feedback. We did get that feedback. Thank you for passing that on personally. I believe that we should have that very soon. Very soon, meaning like a few business days. Awesome. awesome. We're thinking of check command. I think a check command is the best way to do that. Like slash hide hide cheer badge. That or like a profile checkbox. Like show cheer badge. Yes or no? Uh, every, everything that's like front end, like user interface, is a little bit harder. Like we can do it. I think that the you know. My actual thinking is while we're in beta, I could just tell all you guys what we did and then you could tell your mods and then they can add chat commands or like you can just have it written somewhere, right? While yes. we're in beta, right? But sure, for sure, when absolutely. we get out of beta, we should have this like way more obvious to like new users and stuff like that. So, you know, that's- Dude, when, when you're developing this stuff, you just do whatever you need to do to get it out faster. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll do whatever you want, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, Our seriously. priority is to, to yeah. solve the problems for the users, right? And then if we give you guys a way to tell them what to do, then, you know, we, that's one of the advantages of being in a beta. Um, Zeke, yeah, and that was have, like one more of the other cons. Right? One of the other cons was uh, like there are two kind of the same ones. Uh, the, the badge says, "Hey, l look at my wallet. Look how much I've spent," and stuff like that. And the other, like the converse of that, was no anonymous bit tipping. Like I can't do like I can't say. So there was uh, there's people out there who have a lot of money who don't want to like go around fucking flaunting it. I don't know if it was a Twitch alerts error, but I was watching someone the other day and someone cheered 10,000 in the chat mm. and it came up on screen as anonymous. And I don't know if that was a Twitch alerts error or what mm. happened there. 
maybe they moderated it. So one thing that I actually asked the third parties to do, Twitch alerts, Muxy, et cetera, is like, because it's all in chat, if you're mo if somebody says something hateful, you they can be timed out or banned. And then, you know, Twitch alerts can like wait to, like, you don't have to fire the alert immediately. You can wait like five seconds. Right. And so if it was moderated, then maybe it doesn't say anonymous, but maybe it like gets rid of the message and it just says like this username, this number of bits kind of thing. Um, maybe it was that, probably not. I'm not sure. Um, I want to, there was, who was this? Uh, wind God 2000. We're not taking questions from chat, but I do want to ask this. He said, what about bits and charity streams? I feel like that's like a perfect thing, Valid. especially if Twitch just says like, that's fuck okay, everything. That's... We're giving one to one. Like that would be a really cool Dude. thing. Dude, Again, you don't have to speak to that at all, but <laughs> I think that'd be great. Just throwing that out to wind. Yeah. Well, from the wind God. I think that goes along with like the at like bits at something like cause then, that's what I was going to say. Like if they can give us a way. So like, for instance, what if St. Jude had an account on Twitch and anyone from any channel could do, you know, cheer 1000 at St. Jude and it would then go to St. Jude under that caster's name since it was done in their channel. That'd be, that'd great. be great. But yeah. the idea of that's kind of yeah. my dream. Yeah. We yeah, want to be careful. Even, if we take the bits like that's that's an even better ours. thing. Yeah. And then I mean, that, that's the dream that I have where it's like, you know, showing support for St. Jude and like they get benefits for it. And that could be more than just revenue share. We could do even more things for St. Jude if they like, you know, and, and kind of creating moments. I have this like, I, I think about rappers and like, you know, yo, check out my like, I, I got my trophies. I got all these double platinum albums. Like imagine like if there are actual moments on Twitch where there's like a platinum moment of how many, you know, because so many people cheered for it. And like, you know, like a then, like physical... <laughs> I was thinking we would send physical like plaques. Oh you know, shit! For, for, these, for these moments and like you know, I, I think it would just be sick. So if what if I told you that uh, YouTube already beat you to the plaque game? I mean, I think like subscribers <laughs> is cool. Like, I'm just fucked with you. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. I, I don't have just it. trying to copy him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's uh, all streaming companies do is just copy. You guys copied Africa. And they they'll yeah. copy. Yeah. That's all to be says. honest, like my dream even goes like a like a tiny bit further where it's like there, no caster and maybe you guys are like machines, but like I don't do it on my own. I have a social media manager, right? Mm. I have a guy who yeah. takes an Uber to the office to do the whole stream. My producer, I have guests on, and like all of them help create my stream. It's not me. Like I don't even feel like I'm. I deserve when people like subscribe and like I, I don't feel like I should be getting all that revenue share. So. I would love to to exist in a Twitch where like the people who make my emoticons and like the people who make my beautiful overlays, my producer, where they can like have a path to partnership even if they don't stream. And like my my audience, like I can kind of tell them none of this would happen without these people, you know. And if you cheer for like don't please cheer for them. Don't cheer for me. So that's kind of I would love to live in a world like that. Right. Co what you, wow. got, you got the bug eyes. That's that's a lot of very interesting ideas. Yeah. Well, well I mean, I, yeah, I mean, no, I like we do a monthly mod day on the channel where mm. I take all the tips in and then we split them like that. That's a really interesting idea of like that. I think that very interesting idea. <laughs> I, I feel like there was some short sightedness and maybe it should have been explained. It, right. I'm not I'm not even looking for a, a comment on this, Bobby. But in terms of just everything, like short sightedness from the community and not seeing the grander scheme. Or not, that's a terrible word to use. The grander vision, but... The, the scheme. Yeah, the scheme. That's not... The grander vision, as well as Twitch not saying that this is... Just, like, this is just the beginning should have been the first title head of the first thing ever shown. Because there's Dude, so honestly, many things that could be coming from this. I think that it's in a lot of our writing, but it's just so easy to not read it. Right, It's, like, right. very hard. And even here, like, I feel so much pressure to, like, you know... I, I kind of trust you and like the viewers to not hate me forever if this isn't all done in three months. But you know, when things are in writing, it can get rough. And like, it's just, I don't want to over promise and under deliver right. uh, because I know how hard it is to get things done. And so I'm just, you know, I feel, I feel empowered to share my vision with you guys. And, you know, I really kind of like, how do I put it? I feel honored that, you know, you're, you're letting me kind of talk about what I think are the best parts of Twitch. Um, you know, and I hope that, that you guys tell me and that the community tells me like you're onto something or you like don't get it and we don't want any of this right and then we can adjust our plans as necessary i gotta say like not not only is it really good um like it's it's great to know that this the bid system has someone that's kind of thinking 
that far down the road on it. That's awesome. I, I got to say this. The bit system is one of the biggest and most controversial systems that Twitch has implemented since I have been on it, since I have made it my career. I cannot stress enough how important it's going to be for transparency, quick updates. Like this is something that people are watching like a hawk and right. how the system is going to be treated is going to have thou literally hundreds of thousands of people kind of base what they think about Twitch as a whole on this system. So I can't like, I'm loving where this is going, but I can't stress enough transparency, frequent updates, like let us know if there's problems, let us know. Like this is the yeah. kind of stuff that I know people like me and many others are going to be sitting here going like, yeah. like let's let all the info you have just, just pour it on my face. Like yeah, a, oh, totally. Yeah. totally. <laughs> and that's the, uh, the good and bad thing is that Twitch is going to put on, be put under a microscope more so than ever because of this. And it's for something that's in beta. Like a beta is something where you, you try the thing at the odd, the ends of the fucking spectrum and see what sticks. And so like uh, you get, it's the next couple of months are going to be rough. So <laughs> I, I worry that, uh, well, I, I don't worry, but I'm, I'm worried for you. Like, I, I hope everything goes okay. Is, is well, all I'll say. And I've told a lot of you, I've been running. Sevitus actually tweeted, you know, have you slept in the past 48 hours? Right, right, right. I saw that. Yeah. I'm running on a pure adrenaline. And, you know, I, I feel an immense obligation. I feel like proud and like excited to be able to create a product that, that I hope, you know, my, my mission is to make Twitch a better place, you know, to keep the dream alive for all, for everyone who wants to make a living playing video games and like sharing the joy of video, video games with an audience. And for everyone who is watching and getting value out of it, like, I want to make the platform better for all of the viewers. And, you know, I can't wait to get there. There you go. Zeke, any, any final thoughts or, or co you, you, you're doing this. Go I was ahead. just going to say, we are all with you, Bobby. There you we, go. we cannot wait to see where this goes. Like, I think well, I speak for a lot to me, dude. Yeah, it's I, a lot, dude, but I gotta say, I gotta say it's, it's, it's awesome. You came on this show. You didn't have to. Twitch did not have to send a person here. It's very clear you're enthusiastic. You've got direction. You've got a lot of ideas. Like, there's, I, it, it's a big, it's a big change. It's a yeah. big change for Twitch. So it's good to know that someone that has big ideas and lots of ideas is kind of leading the charge. That's good. That's very good. That's a good thing. <laughs> One of the things that I said on Excellent Adventures to Gutex and Mike Ross, Ooh. this is a Street Fighter Four podcast, yep. is you never want to be the guy with potential for too long. That makes sense. So I hear what you're saying. I appreciate that you uh, recognize my enthusiasm, but I definitely do not want to be the guy with uh, a couple ideas and nothing happened, right? So I, I guess I'm not saying any, I don't think I'm saying very much. I'm just saying that thank you for what you said. And I hope that I can not only say this stuff, but bring it to you in a way that's like good for the platform. Awesome stuff. Zeke, some, some final thoughts. Um, I'm just, I'm glad that, like the person behind it is here, like like the, right, the, or the, right. the head of it, I guess the 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 figurehead or the spearhead or whatever you want to call it, is here to talk about this openly, yeah. and seems very excited about it. And like honestly, like we like we touched on most of the the topics that people were pissed off about, and you were very candid about it. And right, and a lot of those of, weren't in the full disclosure. Like we had a list of questions. We went completely off base from those questions. <laughs> so thank you guys for at Twitch for just letting us do that. Uh, and, and maybe we'll have some recourse after. I don't think so, but like we yeah, were able to ask anything waiting, we wanted. Honestly, like I was waiting to hear like I can't answer that. Yeah, I can't yeah. That. I was waiting for you to say like I can't say anything to that or shit like Very that. Very surprised how in depth this was. And yeah. dude, kudos. Hopefully, I still have a job. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> better. <still Yeah>. <laughs> Look, we'll we'll bring you back on as the fourth like chair. Three fucking minutes. You'll know. Yeah. Yeah. Look, if, if you, job. if in three minutes you don't have a job, let us know. I will let you guys know. I'm we'll get set up on Hitbox and we'll just we'll burn Twitch to Twitter. the ground. There we'll just burn Twitch to the ground. Let's go. Uh, go. No, uh, my final thought is I, I, I like, uh, I'm not, I'm not completely sold on the bit program yet. I am sold, however, on the bit program's potential. I am, I am, I am looking so forward to, charity cheers i'm looking forward to uh a bit subs like giving like like i can gift a sub with bits to somebody yeah, like yeah. it's been a long time viewer on my channel i can say here's your sub you know that kind of thing can uh, i leave you with one final thought 
Please do. Let's do you it. You can tell me if I'm crazy or if I'm onto something. What if there's this notion of a cheer, right? Where I said it 100 bits makes a real cheer, right? Anybody can cheer along or cheer together with it. But also, if you subscribe, it starts a cheer. If you resub, it starts a cheer. If somebody started a cheer with bits, you can use your resub to cheer together with them. Like every different way you support, you know, you can like use those different things to like contribute to this, you know, what you believe or whatever. You got a final thought. I'm going to throw a final question at you. All right. And I need to know the answer to this question, Bobby. You can't get out of it. You ready? I have a feeling it's going to be a softball, JP. Who thought of the word cheering and do they still have a job? They do still have a job. Go hit it, Co. Go hit the ball, Co. Go, go, go. <laughs> go hit the softball. Go get your bat. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's it. That's all. No, we did say. it. That's it. I don't think he could say. I don't you can't say. say? Are they in the channel at this very moment? Can, can Maybe. Is their name Justin Wong? No. Oh. I mean, Bobby, can I can I can I, can I say what I you think? I think that cheering saying? informs the roadmap. It's like what it should be in the future. It's like we should aspire to have a real cheering experience on the platform. JP. Okay. Maybe Anna helped. Okay. And encouraged that person, whoever it was. Dude, honestly, it does seem like an Anna thing. She's like, let's cheer for everybody. <laughs> Everybody's the winner. Let's cheer for them. <laughs> She's the warm little center that like Twitch gathers around for like positive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Look at Bobby right now. <laughs> this is what <laughs> happens at the end of a 48 hour yeah, adrenaline fueled thing <laughs> is that I crushed him. I this is what it. a battery on empty looks like. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's some two day old chicken right there. This is my breakfast. Oh, it's his breakfast from two days ago. There you go. Uh, Bobby, I am going to give you some time to do some shout outs. Maybe just throw out, I don't know, the link so that people can actually send feedback and not post it on Reddit, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's link.twitch.tv. Oh, no. It's I don't remember you. what it is. Do you it's guys know? You. Uh, for the, for the, for the, I can find it. I'll find it. Maybe it's survey. You guys should, I'm about to put you on blast. You should have this in your panels, dude. I mean, you your mod should have it. I mean, there you go. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Did you uh, see that I? Uh, I did. That I cheered for you during this during this cast. By the way, I did not. I'll find that out afterwards. <laughs> a thousand bits, dude. There you go. Shout outs to Thanks every single everybody. one of the impassioned engineers uh, in Seattle right now and watching this. Probably. Shout outs to Emmett, the best CEO ever. Ooh, saving his job. Yeah. Um, yeah let's just make it look as worse as possible. <laughs> I mean, there are so many people, uh, so many people on the team who have worked really hard to bring you this very first version. We are all excited to, you know, make the platform better. Um, thank you all so much for, for cheering if you have and, and, you know, for being civil if you have not. Um, you know, thank you guys. Every single one of the partners who are in the beta, thank you so much. And to all the partners who aren't. Uh, you know, I apologize, but thank you so much for your patience. We want to create something amazing and give it to everybody uh, and have it be valuable for everyone. Shouts to the Smash community. And, uh, you know, I guess to Sophie, but she's not watching. Well, you can link it to the, just link her to the VOD. It'll be there. Yeah, yeah, somebody clip this and send, and I'll send it to Sophie. There you go. There you go. All right, that's going to do it for the first portion here of Drop Frames. Bobby. Sorry I took so much of your time. But no, man, this is, this is great. This, this is fantastic. This was great, dude. That was, awesome. that was, that yeah, was fantastic. I've, I've already had people saying that the, the, this hour and a half has actually like turned them 180 on the entire system. So No shit. Like, I'm happy to hear that. that. Like, a yeah. lot. Like, this is let me, shit a lot clearer. This is what we, Twitch needs to do for programs like this, like, Let's be, let's talk about it. Let's have an open forum. Let's, you know, be transparent. Like, oh, and if you want to support me, type in People's Champ, capital P, capital C, no space. Bring awareness to this emoticon. And add some bits to it. <laughs> no, crush it with the BC Warrior. Do it now. All right. Cody, you, you were going to say something of value while me and Zeke were just chilling. We're good. Okay, we're, good. we're good. All right. That's going to do it for the first half. We'll be back to talk all about butts, all about social eating. All about VR porn.
In space. What has this show become? In space. Space. Maybe we should have gears on to talk about the drawing of the test butts. I mean, that's some real hard hitting stuff. Test butt drawings. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. We're taking a break. This fucking shit show. We'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks so much again, You're Bobby. Well. For Thank, being you guys, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you to the, to the chat as well. Thank you guys so much. There you go. All right. We'll be right back, guys. Don't go to more drop frames coming up right after this. We'll see you then.